in it, in which he said, we're going to give it a month or so. We're going to see if we can agree. Obviously, they are not going to agree. Obviously, this was all about uh, giving the appearance of reaching out for other ideas. And it was all about setting the premise for a pivot to reconciliation, i.e., meaning the Democrats are not going to try to ram it through on a procedural trick in the Senate and try to cobble the votes required in the House. Now, I think the Democrats actually helped themselves in the process. They did have a seven and a half hour show in which it appeared as if they were genuinely open. I think it was quite cynical, but I think it allows at least to them to argue to independents who want to see a kind of, kind of a, a, an ecumenical effort to argue that we tried, we went the last mile, and we, we failed. So in order to get health care reform, we had to go by this partisan procedure. However, on the other hand, the Republicans really helped themselves. The argument against them, it's the party of no, they have no ideas, they're against everything, they're nihilists. In fact, they spend seven hours, I think, presenting a very strong case. They're knowledgeable, they have ideas, they're interested in reform, but they have differences. Lamar Alexander was dazzling, Paul Ryan was uh, a rapier sharp in, in rebutting all of the smoke and mirrors that the Democrats had presented. I think it's going to help the Republicans in November on their image, but in the short run, it's going to help the Democrats in trying to ram the thing through. Don? 